Welcome back friends once again. In the previous part we were discuss about the scattering of grasses and trees. In this part we will focus on light upping the whole scene, placing the V-Ray physical camera and its setting and finally the render settings for better quality rendering. Guys you are watching tutorials from Adari CG tutorials from YouTube. For more tutorials don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let's get started. In previous part we forgot an important thing here. We need a background for this scene. Let's do that first. Come to the top angle view and draw a cylinder and place it to here and scale it down. Come to the front view and make the sides of this cylinder as 30 and height segment as 1. Convert this cylinder as an editable poly with the polygon selection tool. Delete this upper and bottom polygons and also delete some polygons from these sides. Now the shape look like this and position it under the terrain. With the vertice selection tool, select all vertices and drag it down let's have a look yeah it is well now we need to assign a material on this white plane which we placed under this terrain select one material make it as a v-ray material and in the diffuse make it something dark greenish color yeah it is okay and assign it to the plane now we need to put a texture on this background for that select the background, apply a UV and warp modifier on it. With the polygon selection tool, select one polygon from the background and expand the selection and pelt it. Start pelt, commit, come to the tools and relax it by face and angles. Start relax. Ok. This is too large, we need to split into two parts. For that select this edge, come to the tool and break, yeah it splits, select this one and place it here and scale this both and fit it to here. Render the UV template, leave the size as 1K, render UV template, save it, give a name, background texture, make it as a JPEG and save, ok. Come on the Photoshop here, here is our forest texture. This image we are going to use on our background, open up the UV template. Unlock it by double mouse click. Drag this image on the UV template. Scale it. Select the rectangle marker tool. Select this portion and delete it. Once again copy this image to here. Blend it with using a layer mask. Merge these two layer together and make one more copy and place it here. Save the texture, save it as a PSD in our texture location. Ok. Back to the 3ds Max, choose one material and apply the texture as a bitmap. Assign to the background. Let's have a look. Ok, it is good enough. Next we need to light up this scene. For this particular scene we are using a V-Ray Sun. Let's have a look at how to do that. Come to the light tab, choose the V-Ray and select the V-Ray Sun and draw it like this. This time Max will automatically ask you one question. Would you like to automatically add a V-Ray Sky Environment Map? Click on yes, make the direction of the V-Ray Sun properly, 
from which direction we need the light should come yeah this direction is enough for us now let's play with the variation properties click on enabled effect diffuse effect specular cast atmospheric shadow make tributary as 3 change the ocean value as 1 intensity multiplier as 2 size multiplier as 1.75 Leave this filter color as white, shadow subdivision 32, shadow bias 0.2 and finally photon emit radius as 150. These all are settings for variation for this particular scene render. Now we are move on to the placing the camera. Come to the camera tab, choose the V-Ray and V-Ray physical camera, draw the camera Come to the camera view simply pressing C on your keyboard. We can use this pan, zoom, tilt, rotate tools for better framing. The proper framing is important for achieving beauty of the scene render. Come to the render settings and change the output size as full HD. This will be 1920 into 1080 and enable the show safe frames. Again play with the camera control tools for better frame. Come on the camera settings, leave all this value as it is. Now come on the render settings. In the V-Ray tab, make the image sampler as adaptive subdivision. Leave the filter as area on the V-Ray environment. Leave the V-Ray color mapping as exponential. In indirect illumination tab, on the indirect illumination and choose primary bounces as iridescent map secondary bounces light cache turn on the detail enhancement and in the vira light cache make the subdivision as 400 these all are the values should be changed and leave the remaining values as default you can also play with some other values for different results hit on render it will take some time i pausing this recording for a while okay guys here is our result it is better you can see here save this rendered image i am wind up in this part here in the next part we will manipulate this rendered image with photoshop guys you are watching videos from adari cg tutorials on youtube for more tutorials just hit on the subscribe button thanks for watching this video and bye for now